right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to say, Bakti Hawa, Bashimi Hawa Shai, Bashim Harakakadash. And a double honor to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who will teach well. And, uh, you know, of course, peace and blessings, you know, to the hopeful let. Uh, it's a little brother here, Shema a new video. Um, got back from the New York camp about uh, a few hours ago. Um, I'm not a part of it. I just I just listen, you know, just so brothers know know the deal. I'm I'm just an affiliate man. I just like to to listen to breakdowns and take notes and take scriptures, all right, and then use them for my own videos. So that's what I do, all right. Uh, today's video is a uh, wounded knee massacre. I want to go into some history here, and uh, a little will and it'll, it'll be edifying, man. You know, because um, it's important to go over histories. And learn. So the Wounded Knee Massacre, also known as the Battle of Wounded Knee, was a massacre of nearly 200 Lakota people by soldiers of the United States Army. You know, that same United States Army. Uh, the same one that all you niggas uh, love to join. You know, you just, you, know, you just can't get enough of this, can't you? Like, I bet you niggas are fucking slobbering at the mouth. You know, thinking about your drill sergeant just, you know, kicking your fucking teeth and you just love it. You love every second of it. All right, if you eat a my drill instructor, just kicking your fucking face in. All right, and people enjoy it, you know. And this is your army, all right, you niggas. This is your army, all right. Now for us, we serve the Lord, all right, and we work for the Lord. Our pleasures with the Lord, but this is, this is, this is, this is your God, all right, you Jakes. This is your God. This is what you want to do, okay. Um, uh, and you know what? The reason why your know, masters like this were able to be you know, done out and, and carried out by the United States Army is because of the curses. It's because Deuteronomy 28, verse 15, which shall come to pass, thou will not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy power, Yahweh, to serve to do all his commandments in his statutes that I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee, which happened to us, man. These curses came and overtake and overtook us. That we're gonna get into, you know, um over time, man. All right. Yeah, it's locked. I thought I heard someone coming upstairs. Uh, that's why I don't have my garment on, by the way. Uh, when you're recording at home and there's a you know event, you know you don't want to have your garment on. Someone opens the door and they see you and they say, hey, what are you? What side are you wearing? You know, like I don't want to deal with that. So if someone comes in and like offers me food or something, I'll just you know pause it real quick. All right, uh, low one that doesn't happen. I want to focus. Blah, 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 blah. It occurred on December 29th, 1890, near Wounded Creek, in Lakota Pine Ridge, Indian Reservation, U.S. state of South Dakota, following a botched attempt to disarm the Lakota camp. Why were they armed? Uh, why were they trying to disarm the Lakota camp that were armed? Okay, look at the prelude. In the years leading up to conflict, to the conflict, U.S. government had continued to seize Lakota land, so Esau started pushing on their lands. The once large bison herds, uh, a staple of the Great Plains, indigenous peoples have been hunted to near extinction. And bison is a lawful food, by the way. You know, just because people eat lawful food, you know, doesn't make them Israelites. So if you have Moab, Moabites in the middle of fucking Moab and they're eating lawful food, doesn't make them um, Israelites. But the fact that Gad is Israelites, you know, are Israelites, and the fact that they were eating bison, which is a lawful food, you know, it, it, it has part of the hooves and chews to cut, all right? It's it's a lawful food, you know, to my knowledge. Okay. Um, it just goes to prove the point, man, that they you know they are they are Israelites, man. They're the northern kingdom. Okay. Um they uh yeah, so the, the Esau would kill the bisons. Um they hunted them to, to you know exhaust their food resource, which is in Deuteronomy, you know. The 31st verse, so this is the book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 31. Thine ox shall be slain before thy eyes, thine ox shall be slain before thy eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thy enemies, and thou shalt have none to rescue them. So your sheep, your natural resources, your ox, your ass, your donkey, which donkeys are known, you know, you, you use donkeys for work, you put your saddle of work, um, like things on them, items on them, and you can have them walk with you and, and shit. Your ox, your cattle, your sheep, 
your food resources will, will be slain and taken away from you, which is what happened. All right. Remember, things killing was just these devils, you know, the eating stolen food on stolen land. Okay. Tree promises to protect reservation lands from encroachment by settlers and gold mines not implemented as agreed. They fucking lied. Okay. And when you go here on the list of United States treaties from wikipedia.org, okay, and go on to the United States, U.S., Native American treaties from 1778 to 1871, the United States government entered into more than 500 treaties with the Native American tribes. All of these treaties have since been violated in some way or outright broken by the U.S. government. Native Americans and First Nations peoples are still fighting for the treaty rights in federal courts and at the United Nations, which they're never going to get. Okay, uh, but all these treaties, all 500 of these treaties, the United States government entered with these Native American tribes, GAD, all right. All these treaties have been violated all right by the u.s government okay so that's 500 so could you imagine that like 500 treaties and the u.s didn't keep a single one all right and this is the same u.s the same government that you niggas want to join their army all right and, and as i said man this is your army this is your shit that you like doing all right this is your god all right you just you just you know i bet you just fucking you just love this this symbol right here i bet you guys probably got a fucking you know, he's slobbering at the mouth just looking at that logo, man. All right, because that's what you niggas want to do. You want to serve and, and, and be in this army. All right? You know, I want to serve the Lord, man. I don't want to serve in the U.S. Army. I want to serve the Lord. All right? So that Lord willing, I don't have to die by nuclear fire. All right? I don't want to serve some weak-ass United States Army in a fucking government that's dying. All right? The Lord's government that's going to be put on the earth, that kingdom is going to last forever. All right? And literally forever. Right? Like, I can't even comprehend forever. It uh, means it's not going to end. You know, we're just going to, you know, be, be in peace and happy forever. But, you know, Esau isn't going to last forever. Esau is going to be destroyed. You know, guys like this devil right here, James Forsyth, he ain't going to last too long, man. And right? once that thousand year time period is up, his ass is grass. All right. So, uh, so as a result, because the U.S. broke the treaties, there was unrest in the reservations, and then as we're going to see, you know, there's, there's going to be another reason why they arm themselves. During this time, news spread among the reservations of a Patui prophet named Mavoka, founder of the Ghost Dance Religion. A way of life. It's not really a religion. Religion really shouldn't be there. It's just a way of life. It's the way the people live. The Ghost Dance is a ceremony incorporated to numerous Native American belief systems. According to the teachings of the Northern Patui lead, spiritual leader Mavoka, we named Jack Wilson proper practice of the dance would reunite the living with the spirits of the dead so the actual dance okay um and it would reunite the living with the spirits of the dead which is necromancy bring the spirits to fight on their behalf and end westward american westward expansion and bring peace prosperity and unity to native american peoples throughout the region which failed okay this is fucking stupid all right this this failed Okay, trying to having a, a a a ghost dance and doing necromancy, it obviously didn't work, man. All right, this is this is the madness that's in the twenty eighth verse. We don't gotta get it, but that's the madness, man. This is madness. All right, so they all armed themselves. I right, thinking that they do this ghost dance and do necromancy that they will be able to win. All right, and once again, you know these these guys ain't know no fucking better, man. It doesn't give them. I'm not being. Uh, 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 sympathetic or having uh, sympathy all right, for fucking such foolishness, okay? Because you got people that are you know around to this day doing the same dumb shit, thinking that it's gonna work. Look at the NF NFAC, you know, and other you know Latin kings and shit, and all these guys getting into gangs, thinking that they be carnal and shit, you know, that they can that they can win. You got native, you know, Gadites still doing witchcraft and shit, you know, still being dummies, praying to idols. All right, you got you got niggas doing the same shit too, cause you gotta get on everybody, man. Niggas doing the same shit too. I right, Southern King, dumb niggas, you know, doing the fucking um, Ouija board. You got Gad, you know, you got you got all the tribes, man. Still doing fucking witchcraft, man. All right, doing dumb shit. Okay, which is why you know, you know Isaiah four and six, my people were destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know, so. Um, he had a vision, so he was also, you know, he's a false prophet. So on top of 
being a necromancer, he's also a false prophet. As we're going to see here, he had a vision that the Christian Messiah, I'm just going to read it verbatim, Jesus Christ. We know that what the true name is. We know that this is a false image. Okay. I returned to earth in the form of a Native American, which is false. All right. Yahweh was a dark skinned man of the tribe of Judah. He was not a Gadite. All right. So this is this is madness. This is this is foolishness. All right. That's why I give no mercy. All right, I don't hold my tongue for nobody. I don't fucking respect this. What the fuck is it to respect about this? All right. This is just them being fucking carnal. All right. And they lost. Okay. They got fucked up. All right. Because you know, the Lord <laughs> explicitly told us, "You go, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live." Okay. In that. Hey man, you're not supposed to add to the book, man. So you know, I don't want to get too far into it, man. The fuck, the fuck. Okay, yeah. Uh, I was gonna go into this one, but it's pretty much the same thing. You know, the ghost dance spiritual movement. All right. So you know, they start to arm themselves. The U.S. government, um, military comes in to disarm them. All right, and. Uh, all right. Um, following a botched attempt to disarm the, disarm the Lakota camp, the previous day, a detachment of the U.S. 7th Cavalry Regiment, commanded by Major Samuel and Woodside, approached a spotted elk's band of Miniconjur Lakota and 38 Lung Papa Lakota near Porcupine Butt and escorted them five miles westward to Wounded Knee Creek, where they made camp. The remainder of the 7th Cavalry Regiment, led by Colonel James W. Forsyth, arrived. And surrounded the encampment. The regiment was supported by a battery of four Hotchkiss mountain guns, which are like artillery. Okay. On the morning of December 29th, U.S. cavalry troops went into the camp to disarm the Lakota because they've been arming themselves. But at the same time, this is still Esau's fucking fault because Esau manipulated the situation. He's the reason why he's called the serpent, man. All right, when you read in Revelation, the 20th chapter, he's, he's serpent like, man. He knew what he was doing, he was seizing their lands killing their food sources, breaking treaties, okay, and that created the unrest of the reservations. That's why they got fucking pissed, okay? And then this, this event was able to take place. So, of course, they're going to get fucking mad, man, all right? And once again, you know, it was, it was these devil's time to rule, man. Job 9 and 24, man. Earth is given to the hand of the wicked, all right? On the morning of December 29th, the U.S. Cavalry troops went into went to the camp to disarm the Lakota. One version of the events claimed that during the process of disarming the Lakota, a deaf tribesman named Black Coyote was reluctant to give up his rifle, claiming he had paid a lot for it. Simultaneously, an old man was performing a ditch called the Ghost Dance, which he already went to. It's necromancy. Black Coyote's rifle went off at that point. The U.S. Army began shooting at the Native Americans. The Lakota warriors fought back, but many had already been stripped of their guns and disarmed. So the U.S. government started shooting and, you know, possibly, probably using these mountain guns too and blowing the fucking, the fucking shit out of them with it, you know, shooting them up, you know, blowing them up with it because this is artillery, uh, um, and, and, and shooting them with their rifles and guns, obviously. Uh, but some of them had some weapons, though. Some of the Lakota still had their weapons still. All right, so, um, they still fought back. So this is what happens when you, when you try to get carnal. All right. Remember, Esau's blessing is that sword, man. This is the book of uh, Psalm 44. And uh, we'll go to the point. Uh, for thou art my king, O power, and you'll talk about how command deliverances for Jacob. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread under them that rise up against us. Because King David knew that the Lord controls all things, man. You know, just read, you know, uh, Proverbs 21 and 1. You know, the Lord, the, hand, the heart of kings are in the hands of the Lord. All right, so um, the Lord is, is in control of all things, man. All right, King David knew and, and understood that, okay? Um, that, hey, man, you're not you're not in control of nothing. All right, 1 Samuel, the second chapter, all right? And when you go into that, um, I haven't gotten that one out in a minute, but the Lord killeth and maketh alive. You know, I believe it goes, it goes something like that. Um, we might as well just go get it, because like I mentioned it. I mean, this one's like, I think it is 2 and 6. This is one of my favorite books, by the way. First thing, which is the 2 verse 6, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. You bring it down to the grave and bringeth up. All right, so, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. You bring it down to the grave and bringeth up. So, the Lord is in control of all things, man. He's in control of life and death. All right. 
So that's why King David said this. To thee will we push down enemies, to thy name will we tread under them that rise up against us. For when I trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. All right, so don't trust in your bow, and neither shall your sword save me. So your guns, your knives, your machine guns, all right, you know, your rifles, yeah, it's not unlawful to have those things, personally. And I, I kind of I kind of like them, I'll be honest, but, like, my, my, uh, my like will just stay as a like, you know, like certain, certain, like the way they look, you know what I mean? But like, you're not supposed to have your trust in a firearm, all right? I'm just being honest with myself because, you know, I like them, all right? And it's not unlawful for you to own a firearm, all right? As long as it's legal, okay? I'm not saying like it's unlawful if you get a legal weapon. It's not, all right? But, you know, obviously... You don't want to go to prison or jail, so if you are going to get yourself a firearm, get yourself a legal firearm, okay? But it's not unlawful for you to have a firearm, okay? But, uh, hey, you know, um, don't trust in that shit, because that ain't going to save you. Esau got tanks, heavy machine guns. Man, nigga, Esau had tanks since the fucking, what, the 40s and 50s, man? Since the 40s. I think they had tanks in World War. Well, they had tanks in World War Two for sure. All right, you guys, man, you guys, you niggas are stupid, man. You NFAC niggas, you niggas are fucking dumb. All right, you're gonna die. Okay. By the time the massacre's over, more than two hundred fifty men. It's lucky. I thought I heard someone. In the morning of, uh, by the time the massacre was over, more than 250 men, women, and children of Bakoda had been killed, and 51 were wounded. Four men and 47 women and children. Some of them died later. Some estimates placed the number of dead as high as 300. 25 soldiers also died, and 39 were wounded. Six of the wounded, uh, six of the wounded died. Later died. So, a lot of people died. All right, of uh, you know, of Gad here. You know more. Uh, more than 250 men, women, and children of the Lakota uh, were killed and 51 were wounded. So, uh, they got fucked up. You know, and this is uh, this is prophesied to happen, you know, for Gad to lose. This is the book of Psalm, uh, Deuteronomy to the 28, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of earth, as swift well as the eagle fly, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. All right, and Gad didn't understand English. All right, Gad didn't, didn't, didn't understand English. Um, You know, Let's see here and get some edification from here. Um, this is Book of Deuteronomy, the twenty-eight, verse forty-nine, from the the King James, with it spelling like the King, all right, and then J J A M dot E S. Okay, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from afar, from the end of the earth, as swiftly the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. This first happened with the Romans, then with the Americans. The symbol of America in the Roman Empire is the eagle, whose tongue thou should not understand. The Israelites didn't understand Latin or English, so that's your that's your breakdown, okay? Um, yeah, so there's no real reason to explain any more of that. Let's go into America, a nation of fear, countenance, which shall not regard the which countenance is going to face. We can go check countenance out real quick. Uh, Oh, I think it's like Panyam. I think that's Panyam. Uh, face, faces, face. So, faces. All right. And then you can say Panyaha Kodam. All right. So, face in the east. Uh, nation of fierce countenance. We should not regard the person old, nor show favor to the young. But she did. They killed men, women, children. You probably had some old up in here, elderly. You know, they killed women, they killed children. All right, they, they just kill anyone, man. And as I said, it was these devils' time to rule. All right, these devils, they're the serpent, man. They, they organized this whole thing. They goaded Gad into, into doing this. They gave them unfair conditions. They seized lands, killed bison herds, you know, took away their food. They broke treaty promises. All right, they goaded Gad into this. And then they went out and, and did it, all right, and murdered them. Okay, and now they can say, oh, well, they fought back, so it's because they were going to rebel. No, man, you, you set everything up. You moved them to an area, and then you had them surrounded by fucking mountain guns, by fucking artillery. Okay? So as I said, man, it's these devil's time to rule, and they're able to do things like this and get away with it. 
Okay, 20 soldiers were awarded the Medal of Honor. It shows these devils are the ones in, in power, man. All right, they're the ones in power at, at the moment. They're, they they did this act of villainy, and then they gave them fucking Medals of Honor. Okay, in 2001, the National Congress of American Indians passed two resolutions condemning the military wars and called the federal government to rescind them. Um, so, you know, Natives, the, the National Congress of Native American Indians, uh, GAD, uh, passed two resolutions condemning the military wars and called the federal government to rescind them. Well, which, that, that won't happen, man. All right. And uh, the Wounded Battlefield Side of the Mask has been designated as a historic National Historic Landmark by the U.S. Department of Interior. Um, so the, the land, you know, is a National Historic Landmark. In 1990, both houses of the U.S. Congress passed a resolution on the historical centennial formally expressing deep regret for the massacre. So um, don't trust your enemies, man. So Act 12 and 10. They don't trust their enemy for like a time. Russia sources his wickedness. Um, you know, the fact that Guy was able to set up a Congress and... Uh, you know, pass resolutions and, and calling the federal government to rescind them and do something like that so public, you know. I'm sure that the U.S. government, it's been falling apart all right, ever since Abba Bibbins came on the scene, you know, in the 70s and right, started telling us that we were Israelites. You know, that's that's the same time the U.S. Um, has been starting to fall apart and deteriorate, man. All right, because think about if Gad tried to do this in, like, the 40s or the 30s. All right, they, they'd probably kick the fucking shit out of him, man. Imagine if you try to do this shit and, and, and um, do something like this in like the, the 1900s. Right, they would fucking destroy them for that, man. All right, they'd probably attack them. All right, talk all kinds of shit about them. All right. So, hey, man, the U.S. government is falling apart, man. All right, they're losing their power. All right, so don't put your trust in these guns. Okay, don't, don't. Even though, as I said now, no, don't take that out of context and say, oh, I'm saying you should buy a gun, okay? You don't have to, you know? As I said, I like them. I, I think they're all right. But, you know, I'm probably never going to get one, you know? I, I don't really need one, you know? Um, Because, you know, I don't really want one. I mean, you can have one if you want one, but I don't really want one. You know, I just like them, you know? And I can like certain things. It's just a fucking piece of machinery, Okay? It's like if you had a fucking katana and you just like the way the katana looks. It's not any different. Okay, so you can like you can like weapons. Okay. Just as long as it's legal. Okay. So don't say, oh hey, Shamashawan said get guns and no no no, because I'm saying don't have trust in it. Uh, is it lawful for you to own one? You can own one. Alright? Just don't have trust in it. So that's simple. Alright, so this is what happens when you try to get carnal. Esau's blessing is a sword. God didn't stand a chance. God got his ass beat here. You know, and this is actually you know, one footnote in a bigger war here, uh, a ghost dance war, which is going into bigger part of the CO, CO wars, or Seox wars. I don't know how to say it, you know, but, you know, low willing, you know. One day, one day I can uh, learn all these yeah, because I got to go more into the Northern Kingdom history, you know, and uh, learn more about it, learn more about Gad, you know, so I can bring it out on the highways and byways, highways and hedges, and of course make edifying videos of the Lord willing, all through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai. Uh, so you should have that 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 lesson. You should have that edification on that on the on the on the on the Wounded Knee Massacre, which these devils did. Um, so hey, you know, to the next time, uh, Shalom.